Well, hey guys, this is DK Spencer, and this is Silver Banshee. So this is going to be the last one of these long FSCs that I build like this, so I am actually going to go out on a bang with this one. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. But uh, make sure to stick around to the end of the video and watch all of the testing that I do. So we're going to test this with the original Smasher ammo, which actually fits this 684 smoothbore barrel really well. Uh, I'm going to test it with the barrel like it is, which has one extension, and then we're going to throw another extension on it and test it. Um, so, pretty proud of this one. So, this one is very similar to the Endgame FSC that I sold a little bit back, uh, which I didn't ship until a couple weeks ago. Uh, it sold pretty much as soon as I posted it, but I talked to the customer after he bought it and said, you know, you'd probably be happier if we put 16 gram mags with it. So instead of a 12 gram mag, um, I sent him two 16 gram mags. And you guys can watch. I did testing both ways with it in other videos. Um, but this one is actually considerably stronger uh, than that one. And I will explain why. So um, this one, again, it's going to ship with two 16 gram mags. These are the C mags. Uh, they're both going to have silver springs in them, but they're going to have red springs. If you want to change them out for shape projectiles, they're going to have wicks and followers. So they're already set up for shape projectiles. Um, it just makes sense with this size of a build and this powerful of a build to have that extra CO2 and the extra round. So these hold eight instead of six and 16 gram or 12 grams. So they do have adapters if you want to use 12 grams just for target practice or whatever, that's perfectly fine. Um, so I'm going to try to just really quick go through the similarities and differences. Obviously, both of them were, you know, FSCs. Uh, both of them had the Home Defense 24 684 smoothbore barrel with one extension and the long comp, which it's got rails on both sides and on the bottom. Um, now, Traditionally, I have used the Wixen detents in most of my FSC builds, but unfortunately, he does not have those available on his website. Um, so I picked up some of the Home Wrecker uh, two-stage detents, and I absolutely love these things. So these are awesome and available. So let me let you take a peek at them. I just think that design is genius. See how that works? That's that's smart right there. So I'll put a link for these. Um, really, really awesome. So um, we got that part covered. So in here we've still got a Grim bit Grim Grim Big a Grimberg Milsig O ring. All right. So at the back in the um, other build, I use a Jaw Droppers chamber cap. Um, in this build, I'm using one of the AR Tactical chamber caps, just the regular size one. So that part is different. Um, another thing that's different is I replaced the regulator spring with an AR Tactical regulator spring, and I also um, replaced the bolt spring with an AR Tactical upgraded bolt spring. So different detents, different bolt spring, different chamber cap. And different regulator spring. All right, so we've obviously got the Hoga grip as I put on all of these, and this one is going to come with the third extension. So this one's going to really get some numbers as you're getting ready to see. All right, now I do want to say one thing. So AR Tactical um, wanted me to let you guys know that if you use code JULES15, the caps and the springs are 15% off right now. So, and I'll put that in the description as well. Good times. Let's get to it. And this will come with BK Kinetic uh, shaped ammo and either smashers, um, depending on if I get enough in uh, before um, before I have to ship it out, or they will come with 9.9 gram riot balls, one of the two. So they will have balls and shape projectiles both coming with it. So it's pretty much ready to go. You provide your own CO2. Maybe I'll even throw in a 16 gram or two just because, you know, why not? Because the guy that bought in game, I think he didn't get to shoot it for like a week and a half or something because he also had to wait on uh, 16 gram CO2 to come in. So these use the non-threaded 16 gram CO2 or just, you know, your regular 12 gram CO2 if you use the adapter. 
And I do think I stressed this in the testing video, but just in case, because I shot that a little bit earlier, um, this is the regular Smasher ammo that we're going to use, not the Smasher XLs. The Smasher XLs are a little bit big for that barrel. Um, the Jewel V2s, Jewel V3s, and AR Tactical Jewels are also a bit big for this barrel. So you would want to use either the regular Smashers or 9.9 gram Riot Balls. And since Glenn was nice enough to send me some of the regular Smashers to test out, that's what we're going to use in this video. And uh, I got to say, eh, well, just watch. All right, let's test this bad boy. So these are the Smasher Originals. 8.54. 8.54, and 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54, 8.54
So we're going to see what it will do by adding that. Nothing else has changed on it. We're going to use the same ammo. So 8.45 grams. I believe that's right. I have the memory of a goldfish sometimes. Yeah, 8.54. 8 I'm sorry, I said that wrong. 8.54. So we'll see what uh, what she'll do here. <laughs> now, I am going to do what I should have done the first time. Put a little oil right there. A little oil right there. Definitely don't go past a couple of uh, cylinders without doing that. It's really best to do it every time, honestly. And away we go. excited y'all excited I'm excited good gosh whoo 440 freaking four let's check that 77.7 freaking nine hmm 396 61.8 Eight three seventy fifty four point oh two. Remember, don't leave these charged when you're not using them, that's very bad. You'll blow an o ring. Woo! 342 46.16. Also, remember, don't shoot them multiple cylinders back to back, let the internals warm up after. You shoot a couple of cylinders through. 328. Did y'all see that? 42.45. 328. Isn't that what that one was? Let me double check, but I think it's the same. Yep, so that's the same as the last in 42.45. Please, what it was. Three twenty two, forty point nine two. This is shot number eight. Three twelve, three twelve. And that is thirty eight point four one. So yeah, so that's how I'm going to offer it. So, and just to show you, you know, how easy, if you want to change it, pop that baby off there. Take that baby off there. Put it on the end there. Make sure your detents are still in place. I love those detents. Pop it back in, turn it, look in there, make sure you see both your detents where they're supposed to be. And now you're ready to rock with a more compact model. Of course, if you want to make it even more compact, you take that screw out. I'll put the other screw with it um, that you use with no comp and uh, do the same thing basically. So yeah. And you can either get another comp that fits that if you want. I probably won't include that though. Maybe. Who knows? I don't plan on it though. It'll be in the ad if I do. I'll see how many I got. And then what I'm going to do with the other one, which will be the last FSC that I build, it's going to be solid black. It's going to have the medium, you know, the regular size comp and no barrel extension. And then I'm going to include a barrel extension. So it should be like 65 you know, whatever. Well, with 16 gram, I don't know. I hadn't decided yet if I'm going to do a 16 gram or a 12 with it since it's shorter, but we'll see. Maybe I'll make it a choice. Who knows? 
So I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't test it with some BK Kinetics. I did decide just as a bonus I was going to throw on a Balder Pro. Sorry the lights are causing this thing to flick in and out. but um, So that is a tactical light with a strobe and a green laser. So all the bases are covered on that. Um, I've got just some random weight and size BK Kinetics in there. All of them fit down this barrel. So, you know, just some I grabbed out of the used bin over here for testing. And we're going to do just like I did with the entry buster test with the AR tactical rounds and the smashers. We're going to do a two painter. And uh, yeah. And as always, make sure to put a little Earl in there, a little Earl in there. I am going to do it with the 16 gram, just cause, cause why not? So with this barrel set up, we were hitting what, 65 joules? And heck, I'm going to go ahead and you know what? Yeah, let's do that. I'll go ahead and get back to the 15 foot mark like we did. I don't know why I grabbed the chrono. I don't even know what that stuff weighs. <laughs> Straight through them, son. Straight through them, son. That one cracked the crap out of it, but not straight through it. We'll look at him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. BK Kinetics do typically make triangular shaped holes. It's pretty neat. <laughs> so, yeah. Booyah. 